From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Processed foods have changed the world. Thanks to stabilizers and other additives, some products can be preserved for months or years past their natural prime. These techniques have both advantages and risk. To put it in a pessimistic light, we live in an age of pink slime and aspartame, and many consumers simply don't know what they're ingesting. Yet this may be changing. From Bangkok to Birmingham, consumers are increasingly concerned by the additives found in processed foods. In many countries, governments create an agency to ensure the safety of food. In the United States, this agency is called the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA. The FDA doesn't have a perfect track record. Some substances approved by this agency have been banned after widespread use led to harmful side effects. Brominated vegetable oil, or BVO, is a particularly controversial additive, banned in more than 100 countries yet allowed in the U.S. Why? First, let's examine what BVO actually is, bromine and vegetable oil. It's an emulsifier in citrus-flavored soft drinks, which means that it keeps the fruit flavor mixed with the sugary drink. This substance was originally patented as a flame retardant. The FDA believes BVO is safe at 15 parts per million, but according to BVO's opponents, that's not the whole story. Here's where it gets crazy. Brominated vegetable oil wasn't always legal. It was effectively banned for a short time when the FDA removed this product from its generally recognized as safe list in 1970. The Flavor Extract Manufacturers Association fought to get the substance reapproved, this time as a stabilizer rather than a flavoring agent. Citing studies that showed BVO to be safe within certain limits, the industry argued that BVO was harmless if these precautions were followed, and they argued successfully. In 1977, the FDA gave BVO an interim approval status. This interim approval has lasted for decades, and the FDA does not consider the status of BVO to be a public health priority. Not all scientists agree. In a 2011 article from Scientific American, toxicologist Charles Voorhees notes that the compounds like BVO should be re-examined periodically. One of the most compelling concerns is that bromine may accrete in a person's body over time. If that's the case, if BVO is potentially dangerous, then how did it find its way back into the good graces of the FDA? This is the big question, and here's where conspiracy theories run wild. Could the FDA have been bribed? Is the FDA working in concert with pharmaceutical companies to make Americans unhealthy and fat? There's an unfortunate precedent for honest mistakes and outright corruption in large bureaucracies, and the FDA is no different. The FDA has come under fire for approving chemicals like bisphenol A and basing this approval on studies conducted by industry trade groups. This strongly implies a conflict of interest. The FDA has also approved drugs that later had to be pulled from the shelves. So how did brominated vegetable oil get pulled from the shelves only to re-emerge under an apparently permanent interim approval? According to the FDA, the current regulations are working just fine, yet substitutes for BVO do exist, leading some critics to question whether or not there's a cost motive involved. And, again, numerous scientists have made a clear case for further testing of BVO. The FDA claims it hasn't called for more testing as brominated vegetable oil is not a public health risk. According to conspiracy theorists, however, there's something they don't want you to know.